Let's go back now to Dasha Burns, who's outside the courthouse, and, and we'll also bring in Danny Savalos, who's a criminal defense attorney and an NBC News legal analyst. Also with me is Catherine Christian, a former district attorney in Manhattan. She's also an NBC News legal analyst. So we've got a lot to unpack here. Dasha's uh, going through uh, the courtroom, uh, 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 through the dispatch that we're getting from the courtroom. Dasha, tell us what happened there in the courtroom just a few minutes ago. So one caveat here for you, Ryan, before I describe what we know, there are some blank spots for the press because uh, when Mershon cleared the courtroom, he cleared the press as well, and the monitors inside the overflow room that our colleagues are watching were also shut off, something that reporters uh, were not happy about. They believe they had the right to uh, witness what was going on there. So there are a couple of blank spots for us, but from what we understand, uh, Costello continued to make audible sounds, uh, somewhat disrespectful faces uh, per Mershon's reading, per the judge's reading, when he was sustaining objections from the prosecution. He was audible. He was loud. Our colleague Lisa Rubin, say, uh, who's a lawyer, says Costello was perhaps the most disrespectful witness I have ever seen. It seems that Judge Mershon had enough, said, you know what, we need to take a pause here, cleared the courtroom, and admonished Costello for uh, disrupting the proceedings, essentially, saying, uh, you don't say strike it because I'm the one who, only one who can strike it. You don't give me side eye and you don't roll your eyes. And if you don't like my ruling, you don't say geez. That's uh, an exclamation we heard uh, several times from Costello during uh, his testimony when objections were sustained. So a moment to say, hey, this behavior, not going to cut it in this courtroom if you want to keep testifying, Ryan. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.